Greetings guys and welcome back to some more Let's Play Medieval. The Hilltop Mausoleum. This place has a boss battle, believe it or not. Yeah, you will actually. Yeah, never mind. Anyways, don't use your club, use your sword instead. I'm not sure what these things actually are. I'm going to guess they're called gremlins or something similar. Just because they are so small. But normally they're not the most. Um, what should I say? The most willing to destroy you most of the time, as far as I've experienced. But they take a few hits, but that's about it. So anyways, that's why you don't use your club. Anyways, you should be able to see some light from around here. And it actually takes multiple hits. So, you jump down. And this is usually how far you would be able to make it on the demo. If you have played the old PS1 demo of this. You know, when they were time based back then. It could theoretically have included the entire game, but because it was time based you would never really have been able to complete the entire thing. So anyways, you can, well you must destroy these floor thingies that are there to destroy you. And if you walk into them, well you take damage. So watch where they are and where you're standing. That way you will at least be able to avoid any damage. Anyways, since it's too early for that and we need a rune, we have to go the other way now. Which is down here. That's there. And just keep destroying the floor. Well, not really the floor, but you know what I mean. So there's a rune over there. And yes, we need it. And like I said last time, try to land your hits so that they'll get hit by it and die. And you won't actually get back here ever again, so pick up the rune and begin running. The floor will collapse. Yeah, in case you can tell by the text message you got. And that's how far it will collapse. Anyways, I'd like to see where I'm going, so here we are. Now you go down. No. Alright, I'm an idiot apparently. One more time. Although that shouldn't be every anything new. Oh, didn't see you. Little bastard. So anyways, you go over here, put in that ruin. Yeah. How are you going to get back there again? Oh, Piece of shit. Feel the wrath of my sword, you little beast. Gremlin. And you might as well return to the sword. I can't tell you when you might need the club again, but if you do... Well, you could always buy it. Um... Or refill its health, but you know me, I like being complicated. Dumbass. Stealing my sword and shit. Anyways, I don't really need any health, so nothing about that. Anyways, you pick up the moon rune. You can also go over here and pick up an additional rune. Yeah, anyways, um, to get back you can just head out here again, yes, believe it or not, and then just jump back down here, then we're going to use that moon rune to pick up something, something special along the way. And I suggest you don't use the blood rune yet, or what it was called, I didn't get to look at the name. So, enough about that. 
Now we can collect the chalice. And you'll see where that is pretty soon. But now pick up the sheet music and then just run back. <laughs> Nothing changes here, really. So move along this way. And well, make it back to where you were before. Only this time you don't use the blood rune just yet. And no, I still don't know if that was the name. Because I didn't look. Anyways... Well, chaos. You use the sheet music here. This guy goes nuts. And... Well... You get this. Some treasure. As well as the chalice. So now that he plays his music, we're going to use the Chaos Ruin. And that's also when the boss battle will happen. Yes, believe it or not. So... You could destroy the glass there, but I won't bother. And what you have to do is push this one around. To heat up the heart. Alright, now to make our way back. A copper shield and this treasure chest. Some dough there throwing daggers. But you need your crossbow to beat this boss, so yeah. Nothing else to add to that. And if you're full health, good on you. And here we go with the boss battle. Yeah, I would normally rage at how they're trying to do the obvious, but just shoot at it as much as you can, and just start running. I sometimes find it hard just to ju dodge it, but do your best, he shouldn't be able to drain your entire life at any point anyway. So it's just about finding those small points where you will be able to do him damage. And in a case like that, just keep pressing X if you get encased in that crystal. And if he comes charging at you, you obviously run. And there you go, one more time. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with that. It's kind of hard to predict what his attacks might be. So I suggest not trying to predict them and just focusing on the heart. Really? And when you're done with that... Well, you can guess it, I think. You get a key! Skull key at that. And that is it for this stage. And now it's the Hall of the Heroes. Or whatever you want to call it. And as always, we have to listen to Mr. Asshole judging our something. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. I think he's giving you a clue here, but I don't think I'm supposed to head upstairs because this guy's flashing. And also for the fact that he has a weapon I want. Ah, Fortescue. What's this I hear about that archcad Zarog still being alive? Thought you killed the fella. <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? <laughs> Here, take my warhammer. 
It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. Of course I'll accept. Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanier Iron Hewer, eh? I love this Warhammer more than anything. And also, holding down the square button, it can be charged up like this. And a magic force field. That's why I love this game. Anyways, that's... That's it for now, actually. Well, that went faster than I would have thought. But all this uploading, rendering and so on takes its time, so... I guess it's fair after all. Anyways, see you next time. It's GTA Vice City. Peace out.